After being told my danglies look like an elderly Rastafarian, I decided to take the plunge and buy some of this, as previous shaving attempts had only been mildly successful and I nearly put my back out trying to reach the more difficult bits. Being a bit of a romantic, I thought we would do the deed on the missus's birthday as a bit of a treat. I ordered well in advance and working in the North Sea, I consider myself a bit above some of the characters writing the previous reviews. Oh my fellow sufferers, how wrong I was. I waited until the other half was tucked up in bed and after giving some vague hints about the special surprise, I went down to the bathroom. Initially, all went well and I applied the gel and stood waiting for something to happen. I didn't have to wait long. At first, there was a general warmth which in a matter of seconds was replaced by an instant burning and a feeling I could only describe as like being given a barbed wire wedgie by two people intent on hitting the ceiling with my head. Religion hadn't featured much in my life until that night but I suddenly became willing to convert to any religion to stop the violent burning around the turd tunnel. I tried to wash the gel off in the sink and only succeeded in blocking the plug hole with a mat of hair. Through the haze of tears, I struggled out of the bathroom, across the hall and down the stairs into the kitchen. By this time, walking was not really possible and I crawled the final yard to the fridge in the hope of some form of cold relief. I yanked the freezer drawer out and found a tub of ice cream, tore the lid off and positioned it under me. The relief was fantastic, but the fiery stabbing soon returned. I groped around in the drawer for something else, as I was sure my vision was going to fail fairly soon. I grabbed a bag of what I later found out was frozen sprouts and tried in vain to clench some between the cheeks of my ass. This was not doing the trick, as some of the gel had found its way up the chutney channel and it felt like the space shuttle was running its engines behind me. This was probably and hopefully the only time I wished there was a gay snowman in the room with me. The only solution my pain crazed mind could come up with was to gently ease one of the sprouts where no veg had gone before. Unfortunately, alerted by the strange grunts coming from the kitchen, the other half chose that moment to come and investigate and was greeted by the sight of me, arse in the air, ice cream dripping from my bell end, pushing a sprout up my arse while muttering, oh, that feels good. This was a shock to her and she let out a scream, which caused an involuntary spasm of shock in myself, which resulted in a sprout being ejected at quite some speed in her direction. I can understand that having a sprout farted against your leg at 11 at night in the kitchen probably wasn't the special surprise she was expecting. Having to explain to the kids the next day what the strange hollows in the ice cream was didn't improve my status either. So to sum up, Suggies removes hair, dignity and self-respect.